Hey guys, it's Professional Wander here, and welcome to this. You know what it is, it's Doki Doki Literature Club. Because why wouldn't it be Doki Doki Literature Club? I mean, we haven't done this for a while, so why not? We gotta get back into the Sayori love train, you know? Uh, so if you don't know what Doki Doki is, it's a anime game. Yeah. Anime game. That's right. We love anime here, alright? We don't diss on anime here. If that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this is a psychological horror. We have not gotten to any of the psychological horror stuff yet. But, if you have, like, depression or anything like that, caution. Because, I think at some point it gets pretty deep. Pretty dark. Because I've seen other people play this, and it does get pretty dark. I know it hasn't gone dark for these past couple of episodes, which, by the way, go check those out. Um, but I know. It hasn't happened yet, but yeah. So, uh, last time, I think what we were just- we were just reading more poems. We were reading more poems, and we got to see more cute pictures of Sayori, which is the beautiful lady in front of us, herself. Um, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell all at the same time, if you want to see more of this. If you want to see more of anything I do. Anything. Go- go- just go. Just go and watch all videos. Binge them. I- I guarantee you will have at least five laughs. That- uh, yeah, I'm I'm a I'm a put a five five max there, yeah. Um, and in the comment section down below, let me know what kind of games you want to see me play, genres, horror like this or anything like that. And I am also going to let you know that I probably will not be playing Evil Within and uh, two anymore because uh, it's just not not a lot of people watch it and. I'm not enjoying it as much as some of the other games, such as Doki Doki. But let's get into it. And also, if you don't know what I do for Doki Doki, well, be prepared. Alright, here we go. Here we go, guys. You ready? I think you're ready. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. I am- I'm reading the dialogue, by the way. Oh! Sorry, I forgot about that. That was a- that's what I was talking about. The- the voices. You know? Not just the ones in my head, but the ones that I'm doing for the different girl characters. Yes. Perfect. I know. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez. Don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. Oh, dang. Bottles. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. That's gross. Um, it's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. Oh, I should probably be reading this in her voice. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle... Where'd it go? I put the bottle on my shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in a bottle all in a row. My collection makes me a lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets of... Secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scraping and scraping. I blow the dust off my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My, so my empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. She is really good at uh, rhyming. Finally, all done. I open up and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after the other, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and the shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Oh, that's, that's a bit depressing. Uh. Oh, did not mean to do- No. No, return. Return. There we go. Holy crap. Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. 
Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot! And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to be... to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I... Ah! Yeah, that's her. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It even feels... It even helps me understand my own feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've got gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> don't, don't get ahead of yourself. Sayuri's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. Oh boy, she's one of these people. But we love her nonetheless. I wonder if this one is one of those times. I needed water, but seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem to next? I'm gonna go with Yuri, because we've kind of been following that trend. Let's see what you've written for today. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Well done, pro. Your skills are already improving. Really? Thanks, Yuri. Coming from you, that means a lot. Huh? It's nothing. I'm just happy to help inspire fellow writers. I know you're new to this, so don't worry so much if it seems like you can't get your poem to feel perfect. You don't need to be afraid to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain, like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your feelings, and write down the things you see here and here. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise. I see. That's certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is this poem you wrote for today? Yuri nods and timidly hands me her poem. Oh boy, here we go. She has such neat handwriting. I wish I had neat handwriting. People tell me I have hieroglyph hieroglyphic handwriting. So, if that gives you any any insight on how bad my reading my writing is. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of the night while I was slicing bread for a quiet for a quite gu guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a, an ordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread, my subconscious well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cunning knife was the symptom the bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an urge. The moon increments, its phase and reflects that, its phase and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife, the very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread, fresh and soft, the raccoon comes excited. On perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Polovian. Palv... Palv... Pavlovian, Pavlovian, condition. I slice the bread, 
and I feed myself again. That was interesting. I have a feeling that has to deal with cutting yourself, but I'm reading into it maybe too much, but you know. Um, that was a little more daring. I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. Is that foreshadowing? Is it my fault? Is it somehow my fault that she went deeper? I don't like that. Um... That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Oh. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Ah, uh, water break. Okay. You know, I just wanted to express how hard it is to do all these different voices. That's why I need the water breaks, because my, my throat gets dry. My voice gets dry. It needs water. All right, let's keep going. ADHD offline. Um, yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Oh, okay. Don't really know how that affects. It's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself, so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? Be because they're embarrassing, and people would make fun of me. Don't you have anything like that, bro? Well, I am pretty egotistical. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now. But I'm glad that you're a good listener. Oh dang, we get to choose two more. Now, recently I've been reading up a bit on this. And I've heard that Monica has been the one who normally does not get any love. And all the, the other three get tons of love. But the thing is, I'm gonna keep that trend up because I won't, I, I like the other three. I'm, I'm sorry, like I like Monica, she's nice, she's cute, I, she's intelligent and stuff like that, she's timely, but I mean, the rest of them are cooler, not gonna lie. So sorry, sorry Monica, sorry to throw you under the bus, but uh, you know. Hmm, I liked your last one better. Huh, really? Well, I, I can tell you. You are n I can tell you are a little more daring with this one. But you're really not good enough for that yet. It fell flat. That may be true, but I just wanted to try something different. I'm still figuring this all out. I mean, I always like poems that aren't trying too hard. I hate when people try to sound fancy or add more meaning just by using annoying or complicated language. Just simple... Just make it simple, cute, and to the point. Yuri's... Oh, whoop. Yuri's head, head over heels for all this cryptic nonsense. But I see right through that BS. Ha! Huh. Making your reader look so hard for all of this deep meaning is just an excuse to have no meaning at all. I guess that's one way to look at it. Well, everyone has their own opinion. But... My opinion is the best opinion. I'm sure you figured that out already. Uh... Anyway, here's my poem. Maybe you'll learn something. Amy likes spiders. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite song, love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, 
I hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Uh, if you didn't notice, she says, that's why I'm not friends with her at the end of every, uh, poem verse, which is actually a commonly used thing, if you didn't know that. Uh, hmm, hmm. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. Whatever friends start to like spiders too. That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she does if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world's better off without spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. I I love doing her voice. I I don't know why. I just really like doing her voice. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than usual than yesterday's. Yesterday, yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the m anyway the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies, and it helps people realize how stupid they <laughs> they're being. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I love Natsuki. Natsuki's so funny. Okay. Like anyone would agree with that subject of this of this poem is an, an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. It's all it's about how everyone thinks my That doesn't matter. It can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to re to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're afraid of if people find out they make fun of you or think less of you. But that doesn't- that just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think weird- I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Huh funny <laughs> Yuri wrote about something similar today huh did you say Yuri yeah she said her poem was about an unusual hobby of hers I didn't really get it but she said something similar to you that people shouldn't make each other feel insecure about those things really well I mean Yuri's pretty weird so I wouldn't doubt that she had some weird hobbies not that there's anything wrong with that. Huh. It's not like I would judge her or anything. Natsuki has trouble finding words. I, I guess I should not try to be so mean to her. If she feels insecure about her weird behaviors and stuff. I mean, I always hate people who make f me feel insecure. And Yuri made me feel insecure yesterday. But the way you put it, it sounds like she's learned her lesson. Well, I would say so. Even if her writing style is really different, I'm sure she'll appreciate the message in your poem. It's what I do best, after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like, conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. I will. I will look forward to it. Who should I show my poem to next? I don't know. Can I Can I skip right now? Can I skip the option in front of me? <laughs> I'm sorry, Monica. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi again, pro. How's the writing going? All right, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I'm happy you're applying yourself. Maybe you'll come up with a masterpiece. Ha, <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to sh share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot, all right. It's pretty good. It makes me th think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic du duo. Huh, <laughs> that's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But 
You do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm teasing you. I know it takes a bit of time- Ah, I skipped all of that. My bad. Well... But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now and then, too. I'm not, like, unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, no, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. But, anyway... You want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless... Cacophony? Cacophony, I think so. Of mean meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violently grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a cr pizza crust. An endless poem of meaningless. Why did she waste it? Load me. She wasted so much paper. Not gonna talk about it, though. Hmm. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? Ah. Uh -huh. I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just a kind of thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. Ah! Uh -huh. Sometimes. Sometimes. Asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling. Or a conversation with the reader. So, putting that away, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. Oh. Wait, way to, way to break the fourth wall there, game. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when something unexpected may happen. Oh, boy. Wait. Wait, is this... Is this tip even about writing? What am I talking about? Ha <laughs> ha that means there's something coming up and I don't look forward to it. I do look forward to it, but I don't at the same time. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. And we're gonna end it there. I think we're gonna end it there. I had to, I had to think. I had to think about that. I'm scared, guys. I'm scared. I mean... Let's let's go here. Overwrite save. Return. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this Doki Doki adventure. I thought it was fun. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun getting to do the voices. Uh, let me down in the comments below if you liked this video. What was your favorite part? That'd be cool. And don't forget to hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that notification bell. All simultaneously.